Why, hello. How's it going? We're going to do some hell divers because it's Wednesday. And then after that, sponsored stream. Yes. We have democracy and then sponsorship. Soon. When is podcast stream? Uh, next time, Primogen and I have something to talk about. Something big, you know? You guys see the announcement from uh, Twitch, by the way? Hype trains now have global emotes. Did you see that shit? Pretty sure. They started upgrading the hell out of hype trains because of you, by the way. Pretty sure about that. Yeah. Reveal yourself? No, not yet. I need to grab cranberry juice and awaken. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I just took a shower, so my hair is like super wet, dude. Blah. Slowly but surely turning back into a human being after being sick. 
takes 10,000 years. Dry it with a 500 kilogram bomb? You know, I might. I may actually do that. 500 kilograms of democracy. Oh. God, there's so many menus. It's a pretty good day to spread democracy, that's true. I have a giant container of carrot juice. It's good. Dude, six months of tier one. Thank you very much. It's incredibly nice of you. I forgot Wednesday was game day. Yeah. Normally Wednesday would go super long, but today I have to end the stream at 9 a.m., which sucks. It's not really what I want, dude. That is not what I want. Train timer is a little bit wonky. Oh, God. What changed? Why is the train timer broken now? God damn it. Oh, that must have been an update to... So OBS just updated. And I think it broke that. Let me go look at it. Excuse me. Edit. Really? Is this not going to edit? Oh, there we go. Yeah, it reset one of the scripts. One sec. There we go. Now it's fixed. <laughs> it won't align with this train. It'll have to get, like, updated on the next level up, but it is working correctly now. Sorry about that. Looks like every time OBS updates, this changes, which is kind of a meme. It's all written in Lua, and it's a uh, source script that is part of OBS, so I'm not really surprised. Yeah, I'm not surprised really at all. Yeah, April 1st, level 100, dude. Anything on new on Destroyer 2009? No, we're just waiting on a uh, respawn. Respawn will put out an announcement. Don't worry about it. There is nothing to fear right now. What time zone am I in? PST. Go. It is currently midnight 17 at 1217 a.m. <clears throat> 100 stream streak. God damn, dude. Yep. 
Well, PDT now. God, I hate daylight savings time. It's so shit. What on earth is this music? Heartbound music. By God! You guys are one level away from getting the first global emote, by the way. Hype trains now give out global emotes. Yep. As in you keep them permanently. I'll show you. One sec. If we get to level 10, you get the first one. And there you go. There's the first one. Alrighty. Look, it's me. I'm barely awake. So hype trains are now reaching new heights. Participants will now earn new exclusive high tier global emote rewards at hype trains level 10, 25, 50, and 100. Nobody has ever hit level 100. Ever. Ever at all. Admiral Barrow and us, we have the highest tiers ever attained. So, what's that? What is this? I'm a ferret and I'm digging a hole. What is he doing? Oh, they got their they got the dig box out. Look at them. Dig, 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 dig. Dig, 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 dig. Dig box is so good for them. Dig box is so good for them. Dig, 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 dig. Good for a ferret brain. Yes. But yeah, so now that you guys have just gotten a level 10 hype train, you've unlocked a new emote. And I think it's a, uh... Oh god, it's loud. Yeah, I think it's a bleed purple. You get a bleed purple HD now. Animated Pog Champ. And then this one. The Cap Infinite. The Infinite Kappa. Yeah, it's new. It's pretty good. It's good shit. Good on Twitch. I'm glad they're finally doing this because hype trains were kind of like... It was weird. It was weird for a while. Are there training modes? There used to be. Long time ago. Holy shit, dude. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs. So on April 1st... We're going to try and beat the level, the maximum level. The community has demanded this for months. So, April 1st is going to be the day. April 1st is the day. I'm going to go send an announcement. Editing the message. Man... Alright, I need to change out the, uh, Discord timestamp, let's say. Why, hello? What is that? Holy pajoli, dude, that's a lot of gifted subs. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Yeah, you guys should have a Bleed Purple HD after this thing ends. When is April 1st? Uh, April 1st. Midnight the hell? There we go. Okay.
All right. <clears throat> I am setting everything up. Soon. Soon we will start making good things. Blowing up things for democracy. But no, this is pretty sick. I'm actually, I'm actually really impressed with Twitch. I'm glad that they're doing this stuff, the hype trains. Um, I hope that they continue doing things like this because it makes it fun. And at the same time, it can help support communities. And then I'm hoping that they do something with, um, what are they, stream teams as well. I'm really, really hoping so. All right. This is now set out to the entire Discord. Boop. It's launched. <clears throat> we did it. We did it! With the maxed out rune carving gear, what level do you expect people to make? What level do you expect people to make uh, tier 5 runes? I don't know. I actually don't know yet. Rune carving gear is going to be kind of interesting. Um, not sure how I'm going to handle this yet. The end game of rune carving isn't even the runes. The end game of rune carving is actually opening up Rotten Maw, which is a raid. You'll need rune carvers to be able to open up dungeons beyond Rotten Maw. So... Without a high-level rune carver, you'll never be able to run the dungeon. They make the keys, is the idea. It's the whole point of that, so... I may actually implement keys like that for lower-level dungeons, too, with lower levels of rune carving. I don't know yet. This raid is for democracy. Hey, Tully, what's up? Thank you for the rating party of 43. I'm about to start for the day. Let's go do the bit goal. Let me handle that real fast. It's the bit goal. All right, you guys ready? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right, here it goes. The bit goal's going out. Enjoy. Enjoy your 100 go- 100? Also, it looks like it worked. Wow. That bleed purple HD is awesome, actually. Hell yeah. That actually looks way, way cooler than I thought it was going to look. Look at that thing. That actually looks awesome as hell. Yeah. I can't wait to see what the Kappa Infinite looks like, dude. <laughs> I know I'm in the Helldivers 2 category. We're about to play Helldivers 2. It's Wednesday, so... <laughs> Wednesday is video games day. That is correct. Also, later, at around 5 a.m., we're going to be playing Helldivers. Or not Helldivers. We're going to be playing Enshrouded for a sponsored stream, but not yet. Uh, 
Where's my hell divers? Yeah, and shrouded, dude. I'm actually really excited for it. And shrouded was fun as hell. Moving that up there. Updating this again. And... Oh, you thought it was the character Fidget from Dustin Elysian Tale? No, but I played that game. But no, it's Cat Dog, dude. <laughs> it's actually just Cat Dog. As you're liberating going, we're starting off for the day. Early day liberation. Super Earth. Dude, Cat Dog is the best. Home. Prosperity. Liberty. Can't skip until he screams, dude. Democracy. Our way of life. Oh, hello. But freedom doesn't come free. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet Liberty! No! There we go. Now it's good. Now it's good. As long as you get to the Sweet Liberty no, then it's fine. Yep. <laughs> Alright. Uh, are we back to killing bots again, dude? Oh, what does this though do at? 71%? Jesus. Hey, we got the whole Czar sector. That's good. People are unironically trying to take Malevolent Creek still. Why are they taking this? I don't know. It's Ustothu time. That's exactly what we should be doing. Orbit synchronized. Why are they... What? 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 Why? Why are people still over here? Why is this happening? Mm. The nightmare is real, dude. So, Stoto is where we should be taking things. Um, it looks like there's more people fighting bugs than there are fighting bots, but we have to fight bots because our major order ends in three days and seven hours. So, we need to take a Stoto, and then we have to take Truce after that. I don't know if Vandalon 4 is going to be required. Based on the supply chain, we may have to take Ustotu, then Vandalon, and then Truce. So I don't know if this is going to be possible if people keep fighting the bugs. It's not great. I just got paid. How much fun is this game for $40? I think it's one of the most compelling extraction shooters I've ever played. And the reason why is this. You are a single unit in an RTS game. All of us together are fighting one giant real-time strategy. But you are one character in that. It is really, really compelling. Really compelling. Yeah, we're gonna have to take Vandal on. So, Mistoto it is. Automatons think this planet is theirs. Show them otherwise. Ooh. Man bunkers. Easy peasy. Or more, depending on how much you die. True. It's it's like an RTS, dude. It's brilliant, honestly. I feel like we should land directly on the objective. Yeah, let's land directly on the objective. Oh, we get all four things today. Thank God. That shit sucked for a while. Um, you know? You know? I think it's time for orbitals. Is the three things a bug or gameplay related? Gameplay related. If you get a anti-air subtype on the planet, it will stop you from being able to have all four. Yeah. No guns, no shield. We're fighting robots. You know what works against robots? Running and blowing shit up. That's what works against robots. What armor am I using? The one that lets me throw farther, so I can throw stratagems even farther. Yep. All stratagems, all throwing. Nothing can stop us now. Robots, dude. Yes, robots. Robots. Hit and run versus bots? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. 
directly on the objective. All the galaxy looks to you for salvation. Nothing stand in the way of liberty. Sending it to Dead. Dead to some random explosion, too. I don't even know what that explosion was. I have no idea. Land directly on the objective, Chet. Calling down a support weapon. Attack back inbound. Requesting orbital. Requesting advanced weaponry. Calling in orbital strike. Yeah! Look at that laser! Objective complete. Next objective. See? Orbital inbound! Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. What the hell? I was putting a pin on my map, game. Oh. Found something. I was putting a pin on my map and it made me throw. This game, dude. We actually like put a pin on the map this time instead of shooting. Thanks, bud. We're just gonna we're just gonna ignore that. I gotta think about it. Yeah, finger slip, dude. Get out of my YouTube shorts. No, I refuse. I refuse. Why fight bots when you can run? Calling in reinforcements. Rude? Definitely rude? Sir? I have Jedi rolls. You can't hit me. Impossible. Alright, almost there. <clears throat> Is this a hot planet? It feels like it. Yeah, it feels like a hot planet. Toaster punching, yes. There will be much toaster punching today. All I have is orbitals and throwing. Me. Oh, God damn it. Ah, my bones. Blood injury. Requesting air support. Oh. I saw him one hit and then it bounced back at me. This game, dude. This game. This game. Literally killed in one hit. Cut in half, dude. Democracy has landed. Sometimes you die in this and it's just straight up bullshit. Like it makes no sense. Calling in orbital strike. Look at that range, dude. Fire Look at that. Strike. Yeah. See, feels great. Feels great, dude. Ultimate yeet. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Dropping a pin. Going down a North support west. weapon. Fifty meters. Sneak it around. Okay. A little bit odd. I feel like I hit that dude in the chest and my bullet went right through him on one of those shots. It's a little bit weird. What? Alright. I don't have anything I can use, so I'm gonna do this. Alright. We got an anti-air emplacement down, that's good. What? 
What? <laughs> Sometimes you just get hit by missiles and you're like, how? Like, where did that even come from? Where are you shooting me from? Holy shit, man. Where? Enough of that. He had the high ground. Alright. Alright, it's time to throw some bombs. Let's get up there. Yeah, the bots are shooting me from inside the wall. That's fine. Shizuka, you know there's a teammate standing right where you threw the bomb, right? You know that you can see the icon of where your ally is. Yeah, that might be important, an important distinction. Thanks, bud. Shizuka's doing their best. I'd like them to do less. Less best. Oh, son of a bitch. I literally just tripped holding the thing so it dropped it. Feels bad. What's that grenade doing, dude? Anyway, enjoy your barrage. You know, that's fine. That's fine. I'm leaving. The laser always wins. He'll be anyway, dude. <laughs> uh. Oh, hey. A shield pack and an arc thrower. Now I can get all of the things. Things that I've learned today. Throwing is dumb. My teammates are more dangerous than the enemy. No, you can't crash anymore. Uh, they fixed the arc thrower. Yeah, it's done now. Not a problem now. Alright, let's see. Okay, we got a turret over that way. You still crashed a ton today? I haven't crashed at all. Since they did the update? Using arc throwers? No. Did the mech still explode if you uh, shoot a rocket while turning right? No, they don't explode during that, but they change the way that they aim completely, and they will still blow themselves up at random. So, not the best. It's not what you want, but, you know. Got one. Nice. Tagging map. Northeast. And let's get the hell out of here. Oh! Get out of here. I forgot to turn him off. Was that a tank shooting? I think it was a turret. There's a turret all the way out there. We gotta get out of the map, though. On these, we're literally just blitzing the objective. Every time. We're not doing any side objective shit. We're just blitzing the objective. Because the, uh... The, we, we have to take the planet as quickly as possible, basically. 
Yeah, good mission. We got 29 minutes left. It's time to get out of here. What is your stance on pirating Dragon's Dogma? Dude, I don't give a shit what you do. I'm not going to condone that kind of behavior, though. I'm going to tell you I'm not going to buy their game. But I'm also not going to pirate their game, right? I'm just not going to play it. Fighting friends to spread democracy against the rules of champ. No, we have a whole section of the Discord for that, though, if you want to join it. Easy. Yeah, piracy is generally an issue of economics, dude. It has nothing to do with being a jerk. It's usually because somebody can't afford a game or because that game is not available. Game, make your game more affordable and available. It stops being a problem. We really don't want to pull that tank, dude. We really don't want to do that. Unless I can sneak in and blow it up. Jesus, blow up. God damn it. Am I the only one shooting these bots? Guys? Guys? Where did team? Alright, there we go. Come on. Seems like S2 is far away for some reason. Ready to liberate. What are they doing? You doing a side objective? What is he doing in there? How does our gun fare on bots compared to the bugs? It's actually really, really good because it pierces through armor and shields and everything else. The problem we're having is there's just so many ranged enemies. Like, the bots are just so strong. Also, a lot of these planets, the arc weapon doesn't do very well because of the fact that the arc weapon gets stuck on rocks and all kinds of other shit, like right now. So the Plaz Scorcher ends up being better in most situations, unfortunately. Yeah, they fixed the arc weapon crashes, but the arc weapon still has its its unique issues, you know. Say hello to democracy. Like here, I just can't hit anything. See, can't hit anything. It's just kind of useless. Well, that just kills stuff. So, yeah, it's a little bit weird. I wish the arc weapon was like better at getting around terrain. I think the terrain is the biggest problem for it. It's a good weapon, though. It's very fun. If you aim first person, it's better. Yeah, but you can't see shit when you're aiming first person with it. So it's, it's like, not great for that. I'm gonna throw that out there. We love an orbital barrage, dude. Survive! Orbital inbound! There. The Ruku, let's go. Let's go! We did it. This guy kicked for no reason? Really? You have maintained our way of life. The nerfs need to be reverted? Which which nerfs are you talking about? 
You talking about the ones with like the the railgun and shit? No, I think that's fine. The game is definitely still super playable without the railgun, man. Like, we've had no problems up until we started fighting the robots. They've made the bugs incredibly well balanced. The bugs are fantastic. The bots are a little bit overtuned. And I don't think that's the weapon's fault. I think it's the I think it's the enemies. The bots are just a little bit overtuned. Yeah. Yeah, robots are a completely different fight. It's fun, definitely. I do think they're a little bit overtuned. Just rockets one-shotting you through a shield feels bad, right? There's a, there's a lot of, like, what-the-hell moments with robots. With bugs, you don't really have a lot of what-the-hell moments. If that makes sense? Yeah, the rocket bots are a little bit rough. Rocket bots, rockets are the hunter equivalent? Nah, not really, because the, the difference is, is the hunter can't kill you from a pixel on the other side of the map. The rocket bots can. They can snipe you from infinite directions, right? Or infinite range. So because of that, it ends up being, like, kind of bullshit feeling as a player. I think it's the only one that feels bullshit, though. I think I think the rest of it is just kind of fun. Yeah, rocket devastators. I think is the ones. Yeah, it's Wednesday. Wednesday is games day, dude. No hug for Ruku ever, dude. It's nothing. The spears can be a painful, but again, short range, right? You can you can counter those because you can understand the countering for them, which is. Short range, make sure you stay away from them, everything like that. Rockabots are like, if I can see you, you die. Guys. There we go. Alright, let's see. Orbital laser... I really liked the barrage, to be honest with you. Seventy-five second cooldown on electromagnetic. That's actually not bad at all. Hmm. Barrage can be a good laser alternative? No. Not alternative. Both. 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 Super Earth Standard Time? Hell yeah, dude. One sec. No barrage on Blitz? 100% block barrage on Blitz, dude. Barrage destroys um, factories. Barrage destroys factories. Go now, and fear the shadow of neither death nor tyranny, but justice is your Freedom goal. requires firepower. Calling in an eagle. Requesting tack pack. Come on. That fly threw it? You son of a bitch! How did I throw through that? Seriously. This game, dude. What? I hate this so much sometimes, dude. Yeah, blow it up. Blow it all up. There. It's gonna leave that there. I don't understand why everything bounces in this game, though. Like, stop bouncing. Dropping a pin. West. 300 meters. Okay, I'm probably gonna blow up here. Killed the detector tower, but like, holy shit, dude. Ow. Oh, hey. It's just bullshit. It's just bullshit, dude. Sniped by a basic bitch enemy, too. Yeah, what samples? Who needs them, dude? Mission at 10 minutes Reporting to the front. Calling in or 
Orbital strike! Orbital strike incoming. Sending in an eagle! Throwing grenade! Ow. Use it. Thanks. Max empty. You man. Max empty. Why? Why are there so many? Oh, God. Only thing I could do. <laughs> Robots are bullshit, dude. Calling in reinforcements. Have you seen the Arrowhead Dev Hour? No. Enemy tactical asset yeah, detective towers are dumb. Why are you summoning me so far from the front? What are you doing? Point me to the enemy. Man, can I... Cool rockets, dude. What? Get out. There's detector towers over this entire map. Shit. All right, well, I'm out of stuff. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Okay, so what are they changing? Uh, if they did the dev hour. Yeah, I know there's a mission timer. It doesn't matter. Only thing that matters is that you kill all the stuff. My reload didn't go off? It rarely does. You got to see the whole animation. You hear the noise and it still doesn't go off. You have to hit it again. It's random. I don't know why it does that. I think it's an animation cancel. I'm not really sure. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, it's really annoying. Are you guys just trying to Ligma with that? They don't actually have a, like, a development stream or anything like that? Lame. Lame. I was hoping they actually had one. Very sad. Very sad! Yeah, it's a Ligma, dude. Is Helldivers PvP? No. There is no PvP in this game. None. None at all. Sickle is an awesome gun, dude. The only reason I'm not using the sickle is because this one has explosion damage. And it's really, really good against bots. Really good against bots. Specifically turrets and tanks. One clip from this can kill a turret or a tank. Oh god! Please get away from me! Oh. 
Jesus Christ, dude. All right. You reinforce? Come on. Jesus Christ, dude. Ugh. Yeah, there's just like not shit you can do. Robots are just kind of dumb, dude. They really are. Yeah, it's a little bullshit. Like... Yeah, like, what are you supposed to do? Nothing. We already won the objective, so it's fine, but like... This is gonna be one of those, like, sit at the top of a hill and stay prone. Laser it is. Requesting orbital strike. Come on! Ridiculous. You can't even see him. He's like in the fog somewhere, you know? Explosive resistant armor doesn't work. You actually have to use the armor that makes it so that your limbs have more HP, or you die. Explosive resistant armor, you still die in one hit. We've tried it a bunch of times. Yeah. The limb HP ones is the only they're the only ones that work. Oh, son of a bitch, dude. You couldn't stop shooting for a second, could you? It's over, man. Why? Why? Oh, automatons have infinite ammo, yeah. They do. They have completely infinite ammo. Um, they don't... They don't stop spawning. So, like, you can see there's, like, four hulks here. There's two tanks. Like, they just don't stop. Infinite ammo, infinite respawn. I know overtunes, to be honest. Yep. We already won, so it's fine. But it's, like... I don't know why they're like this. It's really kind of bullshit. Extraction complete. Pelican 1 beginning ascent. Yeah, they also don't take friendly fire. That is true. So something that's really weird is bugs. If you have a Bile Titan, the Bile Titan will actually deal friendly fire damage against all the other things. Bots don't do friendly fire to each other. So when they're firing, their missiles will just hit each other and do nothing. They don't do shit. Like a tank will shoot, it'll hit something, nothing happens. So you're just like, okay. Yeah. The bugs, the bugs are actually well tuned. The bots don't seem well tuned. Maybe the automatons are just better than us. I don't think so. 
If the devs wanted us fighting bugs, then they wouldn't have made our major order the bots. So, I doubt that. Seen a rocket say, devastator take out a heavy dev? No, I've seen them shoot each other constantly. Maybe it's just the lasers? Maybe the rockets work, but the lasers don't. Yeah. It may just be the basic lasers that don't work. It's probably just the basic lasers. Maybe because they don't pierce armor? And the bots are like basically all armored? Fight all in the yeah. Of those we lost. Devs are probably looking at data reaching the bots soon? I guarantee it. Yeah. Because it's... This feels like before they nerfed the crusher. On the bot side, or on the bug side, because the bugs were absolute bullshit for a little while, and it was because crushers were just so, so hard to kill. So, yeah, would that make it super easy? No. There's a level of fairness that it, that occurs. That's like the game is a little bit too, too unfair, right? Just a little bit, where it's like you just don't extract. Like for instance, we can do level nines on bugs. And we can extract with full samples, destroy the whole map. On bots, you could destroy the whole map, go to extraction, and then there's just infinite enemies still. Just infinite. And you're like, okay. Doesn't make any sense. Uh, hmm. I think bugs are a little too easy. I think bugs feel correct, if that makes sense. I think they feel good. Like, if you fight them, you're going to have a tough time, unless you wipe them out. Yeah, crushers and chargers, yeah, they're the same. Crusher, charger, etc. No shield, no point. They kill you in one hit anyway, doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm just not good enough, definitely. I've only- I've only beaten like a thousand missions on the highest difficulty. Definitely shit at the game, dude. I throw over there, it bounces all the way over there. Why? Really? Of all the places that it could land. Really? Throw it inside of the enemy base. Really? What a game, dude. Insane to me. Jesus Christ, dude. Dropping a pin. North. 300 meters. It didn't even take out the objective either, which is even worse. Alright, let's see. Why am I screaming randomly? What? Yeah, it's just like random screams. Dude. Should take it out. That's done. Attacking map. West. 100 meters. Nice. After all the time you've been playing, what do you think of the game? I think that bugs feel really good right now. They could be tuned up a little bit harder, just slightly. And I think bots are really, really overpowered. Like insanely so. Like absurdly, absurdly so. Hunters need a buff. Okay, settle down now, Satan. Package acquired. Dropping package. I'm wiggling, dude. 
doesn't see me, I'm wiggling. Shop I don't know. Have I fought in Malevolent? Yeah, it's even more bullshit. Malevolent's insane. Objective located. Southwest. I wish I could shoot through stuff like that. I think we're good. Yeah, a lot of this is like sneaking mission shit with the bots. That's the only real way to do it. None of that shit. Engaging terminal. Yeah, you have to sneak for the robots. It's pretty much the only way to do this. The problem is, is there's still so goddamn many of them. And any one of them can just bring in a billion dropships. Like in a second here, we're gonna get a whole wave of them. That are just walking up. And I've got my laser. Cover doesn't matter. Really cool if that tur that laser would just kill them all already. You good? We good? Okay, we're good. I'm on it. Wish they would let you damage the dropships. You can kill the dropships, but it doesn't really matter because like. By the time that they fly in, they've already dropped their stuff, so destroying one is like, bleh. I got the terminal! <laughs> it, it doesn't... doesn't do much, you know? Dropping a pit, southwest. Alright, I got one of the objectives done. Did they nerf laser? I don't think they nerfed it. It just doesn't do very well against bots. Because it, it's like, mostly fire damage, if that makes sense. I think that flew all the way over the base. But you know what? I'm fine with that. It's gonna chill out here. I wanna see if this will actually blow up that base. Okay, we got one of the factories. So here's the part that's really weird. My orbital barrage starts blowing them up, and they're instantly alerted to where I am and start shooting at me. That's why I think robots have a problem. It's an aggro issue. It doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. Like, at all. Right? Yeah, there's, there's no reason they should know where I am. If you think about it logically, there's no reason whatsoever. Makes no sense. I'm not a fan of it either. Like, if I'm stealth and I do something like that that's completely off in a different direction than me, they shouldn't know where I'm at. Making progress. Yeah, it's really, really weird. Because they didn't—they weren't alerted until it actually started shooting from orbit. So, it doesn't make sense. Requesting orbital. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a weird aggro thing.
All right, let's see. Actually, you guys are doing the missile right now. J4's got it, so I'm going to get ready for extraction. Yeah, J4's already on that. Should be good. Let's see this. Start doing these. Typical underscore cyanide has obtained the cursed quest. Wait a minute. A Typical cyanide. Rare Wait a minute. An Three in a row, dude? Three in a row. You a bot sympathizer, dude. Smells like a bot sympathizer. How dare I? I mean, how dare you? Three in a row, dude. Three in a row. Said 130 ad, but no ad, uh, ad text appeared. I don't have the ad text appear while I'm streaming video games. Because there's no way for me to pause this, as you can see. It's a full live game. So because of that, we can't pause. That's all. It's been like that every time I've played games. Forever. Yeah. If it's a possible game, then I do. But this is not a possible game. Oh man. It's not gonna make it. Well, it blew up some of it. I like how they can't see me until the bomb lands, and then suddenly they can see me. Like, why? What is with this aggro, dude? Aggro's dumb as hell. Oh, let's see. Calling in orbital strike. Firing orbital strike. Requesting air support. Aw, oh, man. God damn it. Well, that's a death. Ugh. Hey, since I have the entire bot army on me, can you guys get the, uh, the ICBM? I'm gonna try to destroy this thing with the SEAF. But yeah, typical cyanide. You have three curse quests now. I don't know what you want. I don't know what you want at that point. Three of them in a row. You gotta leave some for the other guy, man. That's too many. I don't even know what to give you. I don't even know what to give you. Was that a smoke round? Marking location. Seriously? <laughs> Why did you load a smoke? Requesting air support. Sending Orbital in inbound. Fine. Get off of me. Drop ship. Oh god. Just get out of here. Drop in a pin east of the Please, orbital barrage, do your job. Please, orbital barrage. All you have to do is hit the actual target. Okay, I'm switching off the Oh I did it! It did it! Thanks shit. Freedom never sleeps! 
All I wanted was the orbital barrage to hit the thing that I actually landed it on. Yeah, I'm switching over to the 120, dude. The 380 is dumb. The 380 is completely dumb. It's just way too large radius. Get off of me. Ugh. Jesus. Nice. Second sun. Okay, so we can shoot through that guy's armpit, but I can't shoot through bars. Very cool. Scenery hitboxes are broken, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Got a four minute extraction. This is a sneaking mission. If we stay chill, and we don't aggro anything, it shouldn't summon shit. Why is it summoning shit anyway? What is going on over there? Why? Why is shit getting summoned? That's not even in the direction of a base. Why is this happening? Why? We got two minutes left. It's not a patrol. There's three dropships, dude. Go, my beautiful laser! Burn everything! It's gonna wiggle around, dude. Cool laser. Alright, I think we're good. S2, what are you doing? Get up here! Join us. Join us in the extraction. Oh, they brought a tank. This is bad. I should have a rail cannon for the tank if it comes over. Yeah, I do. No, not heavy armor. Yeah, it was a tank, dude. We got this. We got this. It's a typical sign I... I'm trying to think of what we want for your curse quest, man. And I don't even know what it's going to be. I actually have no idea at this point. Because you've had... This is your third curse quest, man. It's got to be interpretive dance. We have to just give you interpretive dance. Really? I'm laying down flat and he shoots me through the chest. Alright. Fine, I guess. It's interpretive dance. 
You have to choose one of the songs from the Heartbound OST. And then, when you choose that song, you need to dance to it on video. And to protect your identity, you need to wear a mask of my face while you're doing it. Print out a picture of my face and wear it while dancing to a Heartbound song. The Rooker, get in the ship. Get in the ship. Get in the ship, you jackass. There we go. Jesus. Always. Always a Rooker. I love this curse. Good. Because that's the curse, typical cyanide. That's the one. That's right. Evil Notion with 777 bits said Yar Cheer 777 couple questions. Are your streamer bot scripts written in JavaScript or C Sharp or both? C Sharp. Isn't it ironic? Don't you think? A little too ironic. I've been fighting the good fight for democracy, my goblin lord. Have a wonderful stream. Thank you. Thank you very much. And yeah, no, it's it's uh it's all done in C Sharp. Dom Origato 137 with 500 bits said you have said you worked on porting Diablo 3 to consoles. That's correct. Did you by any chance get to work with the Loot Goblin Amiibo for the Nintendo Switch version? No, I didn't. No. Um, I didn't actually work on the Switch version at all. That came later. And mine was on PlayStation and Xbox, originally. I think we actually just... Yeah, it was PlayStation and Xbox. PlayStation was the hard one. That was the one that was really annoying. Anything written in C++ inside a streamer bot? No, it's all C-sharp shit. Yep. Troy Tech with 500 bits said, Ola Thor, do you know about your red team predecessor, Willis Augustus Ching Lee? No. Nope. Gained access to top secret sites with a badge that had a picture of Adolf Hitler and did it again with a picture of Mae West. By powder actuated, I mean save tool is a Jaws of Life rescue tool powered with blanks loaded into the cutter, then imagine a suit powered by bullets. To finish it off, Hey Hey Mama said the way you move gonna make you sweat, gonna make you groove, now Black Dog is playing in your head 7. Why are you like this? You could be any other way. You could be any other way, you know that, right? What about here? One what moment. About here? What about here? Here? What about here? All right. This has actually been working out really nicely. Um. Oh. Oh. It's gonna be one of those. It's gonna be one of those, dude. We only get three. Anti-air. Anti-air feels bad. Thoughts on deep dish pizza? It's delicious, but... <laughs> More pizza in your pizza, so you can pizza while you pizza, dude. Like, come on. Also, next to Null, thank you for the dollar for the moderators. It's very nice. Awesome. The Joker with 500 bits said if you could have a second chance at one event in your life, what would you choose? What would you do differently? How would your life be different now? I wouldn't. I wouldn't do anything to them. Regret is part of life. It allows you to be the person that you are. Damn it. And that's totally fine. It changes the way that you do do things going forward. It allows you to learn. So, I wouldn't change it in. But I hate the person I am. Stop it. You're the only you you have. What gun is this? Plaz Scorcher. Thing is awesome. Die, you bastard. Oh god. Where did that even come from? Jesus. Damn it. God damn it. It takes so long to get back up when you've been ragdolled, man. It takes so long. Ugh. 
Yeah. Why well, saying nothing but rockets? Because rockets, dude. Half lab software with 777 bits said Yarch here 777. Good day for hope you are doing well. Thanks to you, I have dived head first into game dev, and I am quite enjoying. One day, I hope someone will see the game I'm making. I hope so too, and I guarantee they will. Just gotta keep making stuff, dude. Make things and show them to people. Eventually, you will find very quickly that you get better at making things, and more people find your stuff. Dropping a pin, north, far. What the hell, dude? Jesus. Be great if I could have, like, any amount of time to set up. Right, those are down. Okay. Alright, I'm going towards the other objective. Objective located, north. God, this is rough, dude. Happy birthday. It's not my birthday, you goblin. How dare you? How dare you? Trying to tell people it's my birthday. Iraq ATK oh, with 500 bits said Yarchir 500 good morning Goblin Lord Thor, progenitor of the brain cells, keeper of the badgers, chosen champion of her majesty mouse. Since today is game day, I've been curious. A few weeks ago I pointed out an escape pod survival puzzle game, Tin Can, yes. and you seem very interested, have you by any chance played it, or looked any further into it? It doesn't get as much attention it. as I think it should, so I'm always curious to hear experiences. Totally understood. No, I have not had a chance to play. I do want to, and it is on my wish list. So, things that enter my wish list generally get played eventually, but there's so many on there that it does take some time, you know? So eventually it will happen, because the game does look quite good. Tin Can is like an escape room puzzle game that is set in space inside of a ship, which is kind of cool, you know? And that's basically it, you know? Ooh. Calling in reinforcement. Ooh. Hell bomb arm. Clear the area. How is that not dead? Heat it. Yeah, the plant scorcher is really good against bots, though. Over this one. Enemy tactical asset within threat range. Hmm. Orbital inbound. Engaging orbital laser. That'll blow that up. And it should get the turret too. Is it gonna stop moving? What is it doing? Alright, that's good. Looks like it's getting a Hulk. Yeah, that Hulk is down. And it got the other... T yeah, dude. Aw, oh, shit. It hit the turret, and the turret instantly knows where I am. You see that shit? Thank you for the 20 gifted subs. Holy moly, dude. Maybe. Max empty. I don't think that's hitting it in a way that matters. Calling in a hell bomb. Man. I don't think this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Orbital strike. Nope. Alright. I'm just gonna do one of these. Sending in an eagle. No, oh, god damn it. <laughs> uh 
Uh, I really wish that they didn't get aggro on, like, they, they shouldn't know where you are if you're throwing a stratagem. A stratagem should not alert the enemy to your location, especially if you're stealth, right? That doesn't make any goddamn sense. I think that's what makes these awful to fight. It did not work. Yeah, it should put them on alert, but it shouldn't give them your specific location. Because all they do is, like, they instantly turn to where you are standing. Which is dumb. Tagging map. Northeast. 200 meters. The red ones always- I'm aware that they do. I'm saying that it shouldn't. It's stupid. It does it for bugs, too, guys. It's not just automatons. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. It's every enemy in the game gets instantly alerted to your location when you throw any of this stuff. See ya. Alright. It didn't kill it. Cool. That will. What? Alright. I guess a billion hulks are in there now, that's fine. Or most of the area where you threw the stratagem? Yeah, they should be- they should be like, what the hell is going on over there? But the way that it works is like, I launched a laser down there, it didn't alert any of them. The laser went through the base, destroying everything, and the moment that the laser touched the turret, the turret turned to my location and knew exactly where I was. That doesn't really make sense, frankly. Shit. I'm using the Plaz Scorcher. Yeah, no, it's not even- it's not even the robots, though. The bugs do this as well. It's exactly the same. Exactly the same. So it's a- it's an aggro in- in the game thing. It's an enemy aggro thing in this game. It's nothing to do with if it's robots, nothing to do with if it's bugs. Like, it's all enemies in the game do this. I don't- I don't think it's good. I think it's a- a bad AI choice for this. Yeah, you just notice it more with the bots. Both of them do it. We've- we've proven that both of them do it. We've shown it before. Alright. A Tom O Tom Tom with 500 bits said thanks for entertaining me during the slog of the last four hours of my graveyard shifts. Yarchir 500 let me tell you about my only express. Oh? Your only express or your only EXP? It's very funny. I'm really glad. I'm really glad that you like this Joshua Jameson with 10 Australian dollars said thanks for your advice. Mm -hmm. Thor. Due to limited web dev jobs in house, I'll keep working part-time and pursue an advanced IT programming diploma for more opportunities. I really value your tips on all this. Dude, awesome. I'm really glad. I hope you learn a lot of stuff in the community, honestly. Because we have so much to offer, and there's so many people. So there's always something new to learn, you know? Man, that one's good. Blast Scorch is so good, dude. We've got nine in. Keep hitting those buttons. Where? Like, legitimately. Where? This is what I'm saying, dude. Robots are bullshit. They're a hundred percent bullshit. Yeah, a hundred percent noited, dude. That shit's insane.
So you're telling me that me being down like this, I got killed by a guy that was below the aim with a rocket. What? <laughs> Insane to me. Cool game, dude. Like if you blow up their jetpack, they should die. It's literally a bomb strapped to their back. Dropping a pitch, southwest. Bomb. You know what I mean? Like sometimes when you blow up their jetpack, they just don't die, and you're like, New man. but why? The gun is just so good, it's amazing, yeah. Blast Scorch is really good against bots. It's just good in a wide range of situations against the bots, so it's good. You disarm the bomb with your bullets? No, it explodes. Like, they, they blow up. You know? Descendancy with 500 bits said good morning, Thor and chat. Have you seen the ads for the Amazon Prime Fallout series? Any thoughts no. on it? No, I haven't seen the ads for this. Is that any good looking? Fallout as a TV show would be kind of weird, right? I don't know how to feel about that. Does it look good? Really? Doesn't look too bad. It looks awesome. Looks bad. Okay, so a wide range of, of thoughts on this, it seems. I'll have to check it out. Yeah, I'll check it out. I have no idea. Chiskamunda underscore 33 with 500 bits said, Hello, Hackermans, Thor. I request Hello. your assistance. If you love something, do you let it go? I mean, it depends, right? Are you actively causing harm to that thing? Then yeah. Yeah. If you, I mean, if you're not good with it, yeah. 100%. It is... Like, if you're in a relationship, and that relationship is... It's just not working, but you want it to work really bad, but it's still just not working, and it, it won't work, then yeah. You end it. It's painful. It's shitty. But you do it because it makes sense. And it's the right thing to do, generally. New man. Your life will be full of really painful situations. Good ones. But that is okay. Over time, you'll generally have more good situations than bad ones. But you'll remember the bad ones more than anything else. Those are the ones that define you. A lot of the times. Because they tell you which things you shouldn't do again. How are you going to shoot a flare inside a building? How are you going to do that? Ridiculous. Got a sample. Oh, shit. Calling in orbital strike. Got him. Nice. By the way, um, we had a Hulk earlier that took two spears to the face and didn't die. It's interesting. New man. Sending in an eagle. Injury. What injury? Shit. Well. Orbital. 
I love the orbital laser, dude. It feels so good. Good morning! <coughs> oh, sneezing to death. Faye underscore Viking underscore princess with 500 bits said, Thor, are you aware that melon slices are selling for only 10 coins on the block game auction house? I swear it's an insane deal on the block game server. Melons galore, from Furrow and Farms, freshly grown, just the biggest, juiciest melons around. All for only Is 10 coin on the block game auction house. Remember, Is if it's Furrow and Farms, it's a fair win for you and your wallet. Block game players get burgeoned. Are you doing an ad for your in, in block game farm? Really? God damn it. Ah, missiles. My favorite. Oh, God. Hey, uh, I was holding a 500 kilogram bomb. I, uh... I think that might be relevant information for all of you. I don't even know where the thing is. Where's the ship? There it is! Ah. <laughs> Made it. Yeah, at least I got the the Hulk, dude. Insane to me. Silent Sybil 412 with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, want to hear a funny joke? Yeah, My boss you. told got me em. to have a good day, so I went home. Yar LUL, hope you're doing well. How I'm is Beans well. and the Ferret family? Keep Beans being is awesome. doing really well. Yeah, Beans is doing really, really well, to be honest with you. Um, he's, he's healing, and he's too powerful is the problem. He's way too strong. Way too strong. So we're trying to get him to calm down a little bit, because he's just, he's like, because he's so excited, you know? He's excited to not be feeling like shit anymore. Yeah. What's he like? Jumping. Constantly. Yeah, he's crazy powerful right now. It's very clear that he's just been feeling like garbage for a while. Like a long while. That carrot juice? Yeah. Love carrot juice. What gun am I using? I am using the Plaz Scorcher. That's a very good gun. Really digging it, actually. Everything is unlocked, dude. Blitz time! That have been causing his behavior issue? Yes, it is likely. Which is shitty, but, you know, it's kind of what it is. Yeah. So we're just kind of, we're kind of waiting. We just have to wait for him to fully heal, and then we're gonna go from there. He should be okay. He's... He's a tough little dude, you know? But it takes time. Talking underscore river with 500 bits said, Hi Thor, I wish it was easy to convey how much you and your ferrets have done for me these last few months. I mentioned my brother before Christmas, I have since had my nana this weekend and have two large clots in her lungs plus a double stoke, she just turned 80. Jesus. I may be an emotional wreck on the inside, but feel I need to be strong for my family around me. I I'm glad for time I had with her. I, the fact we have time to say goodbye, doesn't make it hurt less. Yar sad. I understand, dude. I super understand. You'll be alright. The time that you spend now is the most important. And, it, you know, you when it happens, eventually, when we lose the people that are around us, Live up to we will still remember them in the capacity Requesting that they are. And anyone that tells you, oh, it'll get better, no. Requesting it's different. It will change things. You will miss them, and that is okay to feel that emotion. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Let's see. Yep. Really? 
It's had to be like that. It's like, I need one of these. I need one of these immediately. Yeah, yoink, exactly. But why, though? Shouldn't know where I am. Get lasered, nerd. You love to see it. Oh, look at it go, dude. Look at it go, dude. God, it's beautiful. It blew up so many bases in there. It blew up so many bases. Thank you for the $10 to the moderators. That's incredibly nice of you. To go around the back side of this base. Mission at 10 minutes. I think we're almost done. Bot asset destroyed. Requesting air support! Oh, you bitch. God, that's annoying. New man. Where'd my eagle land? What? Excuse me? Bot is sending in an eagle! Thank you. I don't know how the hell that landed on top of that. Warning. But all right. That was weird as shit. Let's go extract. Like... That was incredibly weird. Yeah, some kind of bug. It's that rifle plus scorch. Four minute extraction. <laughs> Mullatron 517 with 500 bits said Yarchir 500. I heard on something on stream the other day and was wondering if it was true. If you buy the demo, you get stocks to the corporation. No. No, the demo is free, number one, and number two, no. No stock. New man! Warning, you are in range of enemy artillery. Enemy, 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 enemy. Requesting air support! Is that a tank? That is a tank! Ah! Not a tank anymore. No. We will never be publicly trading the stock for the corporation. Ever. All that stock stays with me. And the company dies with me. That's how that works. Please God, land on it. Please God, land on it. Ow! Land on it, land on it. I hope you landed on that Hulk. Ah, shit. Shit. I was up there for a crazy ass amount of time. You guys get me up? Yeah.
Orbital inbound. Oh shit. Run, you idiot. I'm like holding shift and he's just not running. Ooh, ooh. Oh god damn it. Hi. Uh, can we be friends? Please. Please. Okay, that's good. That's fine. We made it. We made it. We made it. Pretty good. I don't know how that's not dead, but all right. Shit, dude. This is Pelican One. I have visual on the extraction zone. Excuse me. Ah. Pelican One landing sequence initiated. Watch where you're going. Run, 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 run. Oh my god. Just let it die. Someone with a dollar thirty-seven to the moderators. Thank you very much. Pelican One preparing to depart. Super samples obtained. Super samples obtained, chat. Insane. Completely insane. Today you've carved another foot in a long climb to Back in the day, how well known was YT Cracker? What do you mean back in the day? He's still well known. The fat striker with 500 bits said good day, Thor. I am loving Listen more all controller the time. support in games these days. I'm an old MS-DOS gamer, continuing to this era of gaming. I have moderate rheumatoid arthritis, and I wanted to let you know about a game I play when my hands hurt too much to use with controller, let alone keyboard. Kingsway. Kingsway. It's a okay. desktop UI style game, about to be delisted. You need to play as a mouse or in my case thumb track ball. What do you I mean love delisted? it and wanted to share. Keep rocking and rolling Thor. Why is it why is it about to be delisted? I mean delisted from Steam? I don't understand. Why would you remove that? I always find it strange to have games get delisted like that. Ever. You know, it's an odd thing. Really odd thing. Thank you for letting me know about this game, though. It's weird. It's an oh, an adult swim game. Is that why? God, that Just sucks. Under underscore 33 with 500 bits said I'm forcing you goblins to have a good day. This is a threat. And don't think I forgot about you, Thor. You're gonna have the best day ever. I'm having a lot of robots today. Hellpods Prime. Why are they unlisting Adult Swim stuff? Nobody really knows, to be honest with you. What about here? What about there? What about there? The Joker with 500 bits said, Can you explain how Haim exclusivity makes sense? What would possess a studio like Arrowhead to kneecap sure. their game by alienating an entire platform? Obviously, in this example, this publisher meddling. But don't they get a cut of all sales? Who is this benefiting? So anytime you have something like this, understand that the game likely wouldn't be made without the publisher. So, they got a huge amount of money from the publisher to be able to build this game in the first place. The sales at that point are kind of not as important. The publisher foots the bill, the sales go to them in a cut, and usually the publisher takes a cut until they recoup their losses, right? So you are effectively... Effe like, if you want to look at it overall, you're effectively selling shitloads of copies before the game's even out. And you're not selling it to players, you're selling it to a, a company. And that company is recouping a percentage of sales on each sale. So, yeah. In terms of exclusivity, sometimes you do this in order to get that kind of money. Outside of that, you may do timed exclusivity, like with Epic Games, which does make sense. Timed exclusivity always makes sense because you soft launch your game. You know what happens after you finish your game and you release it after a soft launch like that? You hit Hades, man. It's exactly what Hades did. 
they were six months exclusive on Epic Games, and then they came out on Steam, and they're absolutely amazing. They are goddamn incredible now. Watch this laser blow up that entire base, dude. Mm. Yeah. Dude, that laser is awesome. That laser is awesome as shit. Yeah, Hades is incredible, and it's incredible because of that soft launch, dude. It's incredible because of the soft launch. And I, I think that's something a lot of people don't realize is it is okay to have exclusivity sometimes. In fact, to be real with you, it's important to. <clears throat> yeah. Shame it's limited. I agree. It's because it's so strong. It's limited, and it's also like a really long cooldown, so... That 30% longer range is just so great. Like, I can't stress that shit enough, dude. The 30% longer throw range on this armor, I'm loving it for this. No bugs today? No, we have to kill the robots. Freshed. Wow. Wow, dude. Okay. Yeah, that was a full crash. All right. Very cool. Yeah. Full-on crash, man. Well, at least it wasn't lightning-related. Who knows what caused it, though. Starting it up again. Yeah, the stream hiccup, too. It, uh, it was a GPU-related one. 100%. It maxed out my GPU. Yeah, it 100% maxed out the GPU and almost crashed the stream as a result. That's wild, dude. What GPU? It's a 4090, dude. There's no reason for that. Yeah, there's no reason for that at all. Earth, our home. Prosperity. Crazy. Liberty. Hi there. <laughs> Democracy. Our way of life. Oh, hello. Yeah, super insane. <clears throat> Democracy early today? It's Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday is game day, dude. Well, I guess jump back in with me, guys. That was really weird. I haven't crashed since the, the update. Has launched a surprise attack on one of our planets. It needs our aid. Destroyer has joined squadron. What happened? I just crashed. No yeah, even though the we're not using arc weapons, or even though arc weapons have been fixed, I still crashed. I don't know why. Are you a big Nvidia fan? No. I got a I got a four thousand series card, so I can start doing AV one encoding for streaming, which is super super important going forward as a streamer. So, it's it's from that. Yeah. Whoop. <sighs> you think NVIDIA is doing good work for the AI community? No. I think that the statements from the NVIDIA CEO are just trash, frankly. The idea of telling everybody, oh, in the future you won't need to be a programmer because everyone's going to be a programmer, trying to incentivize every single person to give up on programming as a future, and then the next day selling a product that is AI generated code. Are you ready, like, Diver? that's an ass thing to do, dude. Imagine, imagine if all of the hopes and dreams that people have for AI to do this stuff don't come to fruition. You've just trained an entire generation of people not to be programmers. What do you think is going to happen if suddenly that shit doesn't work out? And nobody wants to be a programmer now. How do you think that's going to work? Yeah, it's not. It's not. Dumbass move for profit. Mission 
Coordinates locked. Literally stupid, dude. Help pods prime. Honestly insane to watch though. Yeah, it's really disgusting to me. Really, really disgusting to me. As an 18-year-old, this I can confirm this is exactly what I felt. Don't feel that way. Invest in yourself. Always invest in yourself. Here? The way that you win is by investing in yourself. It doesn't matter what happens in the future. It matters what you know now. And what you can learn in the time that you have. Do you think this game is a trend or it'll last? Both. That's games, dude. Rimlet games are all trends. Some bits, of them last. Yard cheer, They're fun while they yard are. Cheer, 100 yard cheer, 100 yard cheer, 100 yard cheer, 100. It's okay for a game to be fun while it is. You know? There's nothing wrong with that. Whether this survives into the future or not is kind of irrelevant, frankly. The only thing that matters is that we're enjoying it now. And that's fine. Oh. Do we land on a base? Nice. Okay. Mortars, I guess. Every time. Requesting air support. Oh. Rolling grenade. Wow, dude. Why? Get blown up. Rocket? Rocket bots are awful, dude. They're just so awful to fight. Eons and Millennia with 500 bits said Yard cheer, 100 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 hay for. So I've been watching this woman who owns, breeds, and shows horses. She recently had one of her mares have a baby at 286 days, when normal full term is 340. She's calling him a miracle baby because he was born healthy other than bones not being fully developed. Why am I oh. telling you this? Because the cult's name is Seven. You son of a bitch. Found something. Oh, now Chad's got it. How could you? Ooh. Jesus, dude. Look how far they are. Like, look at that. The fact that they can just annihilate you from that distance. What the hell? They hit a hell bomb. Like, what the shit, dude? It's completely insane. Yeah, it's, it's completely insane. Oh my god, dude. Look how far that is. Like, look at it. Why? Oh my god, dude! I need stems! I'm just gonna die out here. Seriously, holy shit! Go away, dude. I think I'm gonna bleed to death. Probably gonna bleed to death. Did they finally at stop attacking? Finally? No, the Hulk is still on its way. Can't with this the problem is, is these enemies have like super long aggro radius, are incredibly high threat even at long range, and just don't stop chasing you. It's absurd. It's like total stealth gameplay, but it doesn't really reward stealth gameplay. I wish it did. I wish it rewarded stealth gameplay a lot more, frankly. 
Yeah. Because, like, being able to use stratagems and things like that without getting instantly your location revealed would be nice, you know? Because so stealth gameplay would be a lot more fun on this, I think. It's fine if they're, like, super overpowered if stealth gameplay works. I think that would be the the kind of interest for me, you know? Tagging map. Southwest. 200 meters. Dead bot. Is that covered in human skulls? Requesting objective Dude, sick. Equipment. I think you twenty dollars to the moderators. That's very nice of you, dude. Me, you, Blear with five pounds said Thor. A puzzle. S B T F M plus Osts in S B Y S B X E P D in S B J pints G E in bar F M plus Osts S N X E Y I bar S B R F M plus Osts S N X E Y I bar P D S N J. I mean, those are. Periodic table of elements, right? So, did you use Rumkin? Found something. I feel like you used Rumkin. You might have. Yeah. I will be able to do that after this mission. Lounge King with two dollars said a peanut isn't a nut, but is legume, which is fruit. Legume. Why did he say legume, dude? Oh, because you spelled legume wrong. Legume. Legume. Shadow underscore hunting with 500 bits said since this wasn't answered in the short I watched this heartbound practice safe CBT. God damn it. Heartbound does not have a closed beta test. You literal goblin. Who made you this way? Why? 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 The Gothel one with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, first time watching a stream, love the shorts. Yeah. I had a question, what do you do if the current job you have is good for money but becoming mentally tiring? I want to get into coding but have zero code sense but something feels good about doing that. Any advice? I got the terminal! Uh, let's see. I want to get into coding but I have zero code sense. Something feels good about doing that. That just comes with practice, dude. Like legitimately? That comes with you doing this more. You say I have zero code sense. Yeah, nobody does. You don't get code sense. Like, you learn to be a programmer over time. Okay. Is this what we're doing? Orbital inbound. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. Oh, uh, all right. Yeah, it's cool. Requesting orbital strike. What? Like, why? It literally dropped a tank on top of my body. Like what? But yeah, you you learn that by doing, man. You'll gain you'll gain that kind of skill, that kind of understanding by doing it. So don't worry about not having code sense. Worry about spending time programming. What the living shit, dude? No, it's okay. No mechs, you don't use mechs against robots, they just killed them. Reporting to the front. That'll cause some problems for him. There we go. No, stay flat. No, stay flat, damn it. See, look, they don't see me, and the moment that beam goes down, they see me suddenly. Why? There's no reason for that. There's no reason for that. Yeah, I shot a hell bomb. That should reward stealth gameplay. It 100% should reward stealth gameplay. Great. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Found something. A laser cannon. I don't even know if that works well. I guess we'll find out.
Nope, that sucks. Because every time you get staggered, it shoots all over the place. I guess it works on them. On Hulks, it's really good. Alright. That's good to know. Son of a bitch, dude. Too many freaking lasers and rockets. Takes too long to kill them. It's not worth it. You might as well just run. Yeah, it bounces off the armor, but in the little tiny visor. If you shoot it in the tiny visor, it'll kill it. Holy shit, dude. Okay, where is our objective? Let's just go do that. There we go. Neko underscore Madison with 500 bits said Yar cheer 100 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 Thank you very much Cobra striker underscore with 500 bits said and the net code keeps coming and it don't stop coming and it don't stop coming and it don't stop coming and no! it don't stop coming Not the net code Well, that flare is bad. Requesting air support. Freedom forever. Requesting orbital strike. The one for you, Be back shortly. Took one of them out. Jesus. Okay, we have earthquakes. Not good. Come on. There we go. No oh, shit. I was going to shoot him in the back because he was chasing P4, but I guess not. Alright, here we go. I got the terminal! Got it. Dropping a pin, northeast. 200 meters. Ooh. Requesting orbital. Kicked that thing away. A Tomo Tom Tom with 500 bits said, Damn it, I fat thumb hit send early. Too late, never mind, too tired to finish typing. Yard cheer 500, I used to think something was wrong with me because I walk around like a zombie only getting five hours of sleep, but I guess I'm just a programmer. So now instead of wanting more sleep, I make games kinder. Let's get away from that. You are now a programmer. Well done. Congratulations. Yeah, the gun scope is completely broke, dude. It's it's because it doesn't actually follow the scope. It's like a... It has a slight delay. It's really weird. We got a pack to the southwest. <coughs> Where are you based? I'm confused by your accent. I don't have. Do I have an accent? Really? 
I'm originally from California. And now I live in Washington State. So damn many of them. Oh, it's a tank. All right. Hey, this is kind of bad, isn't it? Shit, I can't shoot him through my own ally. Okay, that's fine. Shit, dude. Freedom no. Oh, come on, man. There we go. Jesus. The freaking ragdoll. Holy shit. There we go. You game dead for Helldivers? No. No, I am not. That one's down. Yeah, Ragdoll Simulator, 100%. Just randomly. Was this pre-recorded? You're pre-recorded, dude. It's true. Yeah, it's true. <clears throat> okay. There's just a Hulk hiding on the mountain around the corner. Okay. Dropping a pin south. 300 meters. Like what? It's 100% bullshit, dude. It's insane amounts of bullshit. Reporting to the front. Fought out post. Requesting air support. What even was that? Did you see that shit? And the Hulk didn't even die. What? Balanced. Robots are balanced, Chet. That's right. They're balanced. 100% balanced video game. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. No bugs here at all. Devarian underscore OK with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, thank you for everything that you have done for this community. Hope you have a great day. Dude, I hope you have a great day. Thank you very much. Insane to me, dude. I wish we were fighting bugs. I hate fighting the robots. I absolutely hate fighting robots. Enemy patrol. Northeast. Calling in a 
Mickey Wobrock with $5 said just quit my job today, it was making me so angry. Now depressed and hoping to find another job soon. Jobs just always want more and more of you. No, shitty bosses do. Um, generally what you want from a, a job is stability, right? If you have a shitty boss and they just keep asking more and more and more of you, then yes, I agree. But generally that's not all, all jobs. Right? That's shitty bosses. Really shitty bosses, actually. What? That just pre-fired on me from around the corner, by the way. You feel that shit? That's ridiculous. What the hell is even going on over there? Well, that ain't dying. Maybe. Good. Sneaky auto cannon. This is the way. How? How are you freaking alive? Jesus, dude. That thing took three auto cannons to kill. Not a rocket guy. Why'd you only take three ship abilities? Anti air cannons stop you from taking more than three. Go fight the bots, you'll find out. Yep. Because all games are the same now? What? I'm really glad that this game is exactly the same as Stardew Valley. What a take, dude. All games are the same, dude. Aniketx underscore with 500 bits said at Parade Software, I have a gaming-related idea that I want input on, but it's something yep. not one can make on their own. So I believe okay. not using techno music in current games is like the biggest missed opportunity. Agree. So would you think a company like ID Software would be interested in doing a Doom mode where they could collab with techno artists to make a Beat Saber style montage mode where you can smash aliens and jam to the beats at the same time? Pitch it to them. Like, to be real with you, techno music in games is kind of cool shit. There's a lot of cool games that are out there and a lot of them are cool because of re weird and wild music. I mean, look at Hi-Fi Rush, right? Hi-Fi Rush is amazing in large part because of the music. So, yeah, I wouldn't see why not. Most definitely would not see why not. <coughs> ah. Yeah, Hi-Fi Rush is great. Yeah, basically all of these missions you get three stratagems and it takes four minutes for Colin. So you just, you just end up losing. There's like no real, no real win condition. We still won. We won the mission. Additional reinforcement funding approved. Oh. Or beans. It's play until death. I mean, it's it's do the main objective, and then you're probably not going to extract. What am I drinking? Carrot juice. The Big Bow with 500 bits said I just want to thank you for the inspiration Thor, I've left my toxic job for something that can provide but respect my free time and I've just not only discovered my first bug, but patched it as well since getting back into game design. Dude, thank you yeah. kind sir. That's awesome as hell. 
You're freaking rad, dude. Ready for another mission, Helldiver? What are we at? All right, so we're currently at 78%, just about. We need this place to be obtained, like today. Because we have to do this one today, that one tomorrow, and then this one on the third day. Or we lose the major order. So we gotta go as fast as possible. Frankly, we need more people liberating that, and less people doing this. Hellmire is lost. 100%. Oshan is gonna be taken. We'll win Oshun. We'll probably lose Hellmire. Unless Oshun people end up leaving there and going Every here. Every moment we ruminate, another family is torn limb from limb. We must strike. I need to be right back. Give me just a minute. I have returned. So what are we looking at in terms of liberation time on this? I gotta look at the Helldivers L IO. One sec. How does planet control system work in this game? Every time we complete a mission, there's a very small amount of time, or a small amount of percentage that is gained. So if we go back to Helldivers.io, 
Which is built by the community, actually. Let me go pull this up. I'm going to show you this here. Boop. We can see that this planet, Ustotu, which is what we're taking right now, we should, if we keep our current progression, we should take it in nine hours. <clears throat> Oshan, we should take in three hours. And then Hellmire, we lose in 18 hours. So, what will generally happen is we'll take Oshan, and then those people who like to take bugs, like to kill bugs, will likely go to Hellmire. Hellmire will then stop failing, and we will take Ustotu in seven to nine hours. Yeah. We're not winning this one. We are winning this one. Yes. That's what that's saying. We're winning it. So, we should be good. Should be good to go. Just gotta keep taking Ustotu. The more that we push on this planet, the faster that percentage goes. Let's do the hard one first. <clears throat> Puzzle from TTS? I'm going to do that later. Because it's probably going to come out to be a no. Which is usually the case. It is usually a no. Almost always, yeah. We only get three. Shit. You know... You know... You know... You know. What does the SOS stratagem do? It brings in another player. It only gives that to you if you don't have, like, a full team, basically. Go so that's now. the issue. No, not and even caffeine. No. I don't drink coffee. I don't... You know, none of that shit. No. There's no reason for me to do drugs of any kind. There's no reason for it. Get through my day...